What is up guys, it's your boy Akatsuke, and I'm back here with another auto chest episode, another chest, auto chest video. Today, we are going to be looking at what you can see on your screen. We got a new unit coming in, a new feathered hunter. Wow. So we got here, right here, we got Shining Archer, who's going to be coming in, who's going to be the newest unit of the game. The, the, patch, the patch is finally out to where we can know everything about it. Um, they just released um, they just released the full patch, uh, patch notes for it. So we're going to go ahead and look at it. This literally just got released. So it could be mean that I could be the first one making this video. So if you guys still like this video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe, share, and notify your friends about this new video that's coming out. Um, we're going to be looking into the patch of for this um, new unit. What I'm going to be saying here is completely out of my opinion. Out of what I know or out of what I have learned. So I may say stuff that, I, that may not be true. In the sense of it may not work or it, I'm just completely wrong but we're gonna go ahead and look at this and see what's going on so we're gonna go ahead and start it off by reading what the auto chest Facebook official have put they put it on Twitter but they use Facebook more so you know well, that's okay here comes the most unique feathered piece shining Archer. Shining Archer. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad name. I like it. I, I, I like it. I like it. Alright. It seems that all the skill of auto chess before did not break through the limit of the battlefield chessboard. In fact, there are always two of you fighting. How about a chance of entangling with yourself? Okay. That's the idea of cross chessboard skill. Besides, we have built the bridge between the skill and HP ranking. All right, awesome. So about Shining Archer, the skill, the most important part of the unit is called Star Archer. It deals 50 to 500 damage to one random enemy piece on the other enemy chessboard of the two enemies that are battling with you. Man, I read that wrong. Let me read that again. Deals 50 to 500 damage to one random enemy piece of the other chessboard or the two enemies that are battling with you. Okay. And, and it stuns it for 1 to 5 seconds. Duration of dealt damage and stunning effects are determined by the ranking differences of both chess players at the beginning of the round. Interesting, interesting. So, basically, what I'm, what I'm getting from this is um, the damage and stun effect are going to be dealt between what place you are in the match. I'm guessing. So, if you're in first place and you fight the the last place guy, it, it'll probably deal minimal damage because it'll probably it's pretty much pretty much giving the last place guys a beacon of hope you know for people who are gonna be going full archers you know but that's not too bad so that means if you if you're in last place and you have shining archer and you go up against uh, the first player then you're gonna be doing the the most damage and the most stun with this archer and that's not bad that's not bad. Yeah, it only takes care of one enemy, but shoot. Stunning an enemy for five seconds? Uh, that's a lot. Just think about it. You can start off you can start off the round and just completely completely obliterate a storm shaman, you know? Or Storm Shaman or Pirate Captain, something like that. Taking one of those very important crucial um, crowd control units would be amazing. Would be amazing. So I, I I like this. I like this. All right, let's keep let's keep let's keep reading a little bit. When Shining Archer releases his skill, it will take the piece of the other chessboard as target 
shoot the archer out, dealing damage and stunning at the same time. Okay, you might find the archer does not take effect for a while. Don't worry, let the archer fly. <laughs> Duration of dealt. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. So it has it has a um, it has a cast time then, kind of like Wind Ranger, I'm guessing. Probably charge it up a little bit, just kind of like Wind Ranger is what I'm what I'm guessing. Yeah, you know they're 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 kind of they're kind of pulling some um, some uh, what is it called? Some riddles in here. Duration of dealt damage and stunning effect are determined by the ranking differences both. Chess players at the beginning of the round, yeah. It means the bigger the your rank place difference is, the more damage it deals and the longer it will last. Imagine the damage when you rank top one or the last. What I seen, and it's a two cost piece. Yes, oh, okay, that's a good one. Perfect choice for a midterm build. Perfect, that's actually one thing I did want. Okay. I'm still, it's because it's saying rank. I don't think it has anything to do with actual rank. I'm pretty sure it's in game. I'm pretty sure it's in game. Because if it's, if it's actual rank, then the top player who's queen right now would be decimating people with this thing. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Finally, we, we get to the part where I, I actually want it. It's a two cost piece. That's perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to see. That is crazy. This this unit's gonna be amazing. Everybody's gonna be fighting for it. So hopefully, when it does come out, I can bring you guys out a video for it because it, oh wow, wow, wow. So, right here we're going to be looking at some changes. Another Feathered Hunter has joined us. It, in it increases the possibility of the, rise of the Rise of Feathered Hunter build. We now have 9 Feathered Pieces now. Strange AX says, Who says I cannot be tough? Uh, a lot of people do. <laughs> Try it out, exclusive 9 Feather Synergy. Yikes! <laughs> what a troll, that would be a troll. And now for the players who like the 600 builds, finally we can get rid of the fear of not getting Abyssal Crawler. Abyssal Crawler, isn't it an assassin? I'm pretty sure it's an assassin. Yeah, Abyssal Crawler's the assassin one. I'm pretty sure they meant to say Tsunami Stalker, cause that, that's the only problem with the, the 600 build, is that you're always gonna be at five, and you have to you have to get that Tsunami Stalker. Um, but with this, you don't have to anymore. You you really don't have to. I mean, it would be nice. You can trade maybe, uh, Aegis. Aegis Ranger for um, a Tsunami Stalker, but you, but you don't really necessarily need that Tsunami Stalker, especially early to mid game. I believe this person, this Shining Archer, would uh, be amazing. I think it would be amazing, and plus you can get a feathered, a feathered build in there as well. But I, I want to see what you guys think. What do you guys think about this? about the shining archer please leave your comment section below what do you think would be a good build honestly a feathered hunter build would be pretty nice but but just you could also mix it up you know you can mix it up warriors uh, warrior hunter with this maybe instead of running um instead of running a uh, a wind ranger you can run this as well although wind ranger is pretty op you could also take up dwarf, dwarf sniper for this archer and then have a Wind Ranger Shining Archer for with the with the Warriors, and then um, finish it off with a uh, what is that guy called? What is that person called? Tsunami Stalker, maybe. 
for late game for late game but we'll see I want to see what is your what is your guys' preferred build for this please leave it in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow don't forget to share this video out and hopefully we get to get some we get to see some good gameplay with this um, hopefully I can bring you guys some good gameplay uh, as of now we do not know when she will be out could be next patch we will we will see but hopefully you guys like this video I'll be catching you guys on the next one peace out